What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Mario plus Rabbids, the Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. And today, we're going to continue on in the jungle. So welcome to the jungle, guys. Uh, the first episode, you guys left over 4,000 likes. Thank you so much. Let's get, let's get a move on here. 4,000 likes means a lot to me, especially because it caused that episode to have over 200,000 views. We got a puzzle here. So we got to figure out the puzzle. So... Uh, <laughs> right here. Whoa, look at that. So we gotta we gotta organize them a little bit. Looks like. And what does that mean? Does that mean when it's? Uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, so where's the bottom? Clearly the bottom is over here. So if we have, oh, it looks like green is in the middle. Maybe is that what it's telling me? And then white is gonna be. Uh, I'm so confused right now. Let's see, how are we supposed to make it? White over there? No, white needs to be like, uh, well, yeah, white, yeah, uh, hold on, all the way down, please. That's white right there. Uh, yellow all the way to the top. I mean, that looks great to me, let's open this up. <laughs> it's obviously not not perfect. Uh, I'm a little confused on the, the order here. Um, oh, well, you know, huh, this is the face, this is the direction of the, this matter at all, let's hit this a couple times, so, I mean, this looks nearly perfect, except for the fact that red is a little bit more, which tells me that, that the middle might actually be, yeah, so here's the thing, blue, this is blue, that's blue right there. That means green's gonna be uh, right in that same spot too. So take a look at this. So if we're talking, uh, oh dear, what are we talking about here? So if we're talking about, okay. <laughs> we're starting off with a puzzle in today's episode. Well, I promise you by the end of this, we're gonna have a boss fight. So stick around for that. Uh, so, okay, if red, okay. So if yellow is all the way to one side, then that means it's like this, and then th the white is actually the one that's all the way at the bottom here. That's what that means. There we go. That's how we solved it. All right. And we got a soundtrack, fantastic, Jungle Joust. All right, eventually we'll go to the museum and look at all this stuff. Let's get a move on. We're at stage four. So here we go, let's find out what we gotta do. Destroy bad bananas. I like this type of uh, thing. It shouldn't be so bad to destroy all these bad bananas, right? Uh, let's see what we can do. I imagine I'm going to pick up some of these guys and just throw them in the pits. Uh, you know, again, these things are so far away that mobility sure is interesting to me, but maybe we'll be fine. Maybe we send some over here, some over there. There is a lot I got to do, clearly. Uh, so let's take a look at the Battle HQ real quick. How many points do I have to spend on some of these things? Is it just... Uh, Let's see, is it just one per thing? Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna get much mobility out of that. So let's just uh, take a step back. We'll, we'll wait till we have a couple points to spend on here. Let's just fight it out. Um, and Donkey Kong, you know, we're talking about, you know, so Donkey Kong will, is gonna need to go to the right. So other people can go to the left. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I could, um, you know, take him with me and then throw him in there, but I'd rather probably jump over, pick him up, Throw, oh, I can't throw him in there, darn. That's a shame. But what I can do is I can uh, grab this. This is a push block, which would be interesting. Or I could pick up this, this is just a regular block. Uh, you know, then land right here. Uh, right, mm, right where? Actually, yeah, you know what? Instead of that, let's pick up the push block. Uh, I'm gonna land right here. I am then gonna throw this at him. Here we go. Boom, that did a little bit of damage uh, to the bad bananas here. And then, uh, you know, I, I could do this. I could bring him closer, but. Here we go, I'm gonna do this. I was hoping that would make him move, that's okay. He's gonna move over here, close to me, very close to me, unfortunately. Uh, Harry Eye, that way if he comes in, he if he steps any bit closer to me, then we'll, we'll be ready to deal with him. 
So, uh, with this guy now, I'm going to go ahead and have her move through the tunnel. I'm going to I'm going to bounce I'm going to hit him. Then I'm going to move uh, I guess right over here. And so we're basically going to attack this the, the best way we know how. And then I'm going to have this go over here which is going to do a lot of damage hopefully soon right now. There we go. A critical hit to that. He may or may not move, I don't know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cr Cranky move over here with him. And we're going to land just probably right next to it. And um, give it a go, you know. Do I shoot it? Point blank. It seems so. That's going to be the uh, strategy for me. I can also hit him a little bit. And so let's do it. This, these bad bananas are gone. Vampire, that's going to move him a little bit closer. But, you know, I can also give him the whole... Uh, the whole stink eye. So if he moves even closer to me, we're going to be able to take him out. And so this is looking good. Give the enemy their turn. Please. Here he comes. Close. Stop right there. Freeze. You're dead. Golden shot. Perfect. Drop some bananas. And then him. Uh, these guys are going to do whatever they do best. I don't know what they even do. They're guided. They're protecting this middle one. We're going to go for that towards the end, of course. And uh, this guy's going to move. But hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Well, I almost got those bananas. Darn, he's close now. Let's see. Does he hurt the bananas? He helped me finish off those bananas. Thank you so much. I'm going to pick up your body soon. Oh, he's attacking me again? Enough of that, please. This guy gets to move on now. All right. This guy... Uh, annoying that this guy gets to move. All right. Here we go. Get ready for it. He's going to actually attack me. 100% hit... Oh, that was a heavy hit, too. All right. Can you hit Donkey Kong from there? I hope not. All right, hero's turn. Uh, so um, this is going to be interesting because uh, how far can he move? Let's find out. He can move all the way up to these two spots. So if I put her, uh, let's move her. Oh, she's trapped by him. So he's going to have to move, I think. So sure, why not? I'm going to move him up here. Because I, I trapped her in with that push right there. I can do something along the lines of this. This is going to be pretty serious damage. Uh, he's going to end up moving closer to me because of it. But maybe I can end up putting him to sleep. I don't know. Oh, no. I got him stuck in the honey. That's great. Uh, I'm then going to try to move her. We'll figure out what to do soon. I can... Uh, Bounce. Oh, no. I, bouncing's no good. I, I can... Uh, well, you know what I can do? I can uh, go ahead and... Hmm, I could put those both to sleep. That would be helpful. I could just move her. Yeah. And try to try to uh, shoot the, the bad bananas, you know? But first, I'm going to see if it'll be easier to take them out. I don't know. Uh, that's a pretty heavy push. Let's go for it. This could be very helpful if this works. Yeah, critical. He's gone. Excellent. And then I'm not going to put her to him. To, uh, you know, I'm not going to put him to sleep. I'm going to wait. I'm going to give her a shield. And then Donkey Kong gets a fun little move here. I get to pick him up. Uh, move. I'm going to move. Where am I going to move? I don't even know. I'm going to move right here. And then I'm going to throw him over here that might do quite a decent amount of damage so come with me nice he's a goner that's great and then uh, I can now do this which is gonna bring this little guy closer he's gone he's moving closer that's fine I'll be able to pick him up next round he might come over to me and smash me again darn it I just realized that that's okay we, we're not gonna give him uh, we're not gonna use the sleep on him yet yeah, he's going to be able to smash me. Gosh darn it. Okay, that's fine. We were anticipating this happening. I can't let Donkey Kong die, though. Otherwise, it's going to be bad news. He picked up a banana, you dork. That's my banana. Thankfully, I have the shield. Now, these guys in the middle, they're going to be quite the problem, I think. But hopefully, I can put them all to sleep uh, at some point. 
can no, he can't shoot me from there. I'm surprised they haven't left yet. With all that honey there, I'm really inclined to just hit the honey if I can. Well, I'm gonna move up over here. I'm gonna try to bounce and land nicely right here. Unless I wanna land here and help do some damage to him. That could also work. Actually, I wanna be as close as possible to this and do damage to this as well. It's only 30 damage to the bad bananas, but this is another nice solid hit. Excellent. Uh, Donkey Kong, you know, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put him uh, over here. And I'm gonna throw him uh, up here, I guess, sure. Why not? Get him, just get him out of here. That did, that did some damage, so that's good, right? And then, uh, we, yeah, we're, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna have to give, not the enemy a turn, because we still got this left. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, hit him. Then come back uh, to right here. Because we want to get as close as we can. I'm so inclined to just hit the, that stuff up there instead. Man, that would be such a... No, that's going to miss. Weird. I'm not sure what to do. Let's actually just uh, target them. Why not? Gramps can hit that next turn, right? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Give the enemy their turn. Sure, let's see what ends up happening here. He might trigger this. Oh, darn it. He's gone. That's okay. Can he shoot me from there? I can't tell. He's coming through, though. What the heck? No! Oh my gosh, get away. They might, he might actually shoot that. Did he shoot that? It has eight health left. He could have finished it off for me, though. But he didn't. He's gonna summon something? Oh no. Soon. Darn. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal next turn, that's okay. You know, my only real goal is to take out these bad bananas, and I don't know how long, uh, how many moves it's gonna take, but... Oh jeez, this might finish it off though. They're, are the bad bananas still there? Yep, they are. Darn. Okay, so, darn it. Gosh, is he really in the way? Oh, man. Okay. I'm totally bummed out by that. Okay. He's going to move up here, and I'm going to do everything in my power to take out these bananas. Which, this still isn't enough, but here we go. Critical hit, but not enough. Now, this is interesting. Um... You know, I can go over here, run into him, hit him. Uh, hit him. Hit him. And then be kind of on the side here. Or go up here, rather. Can I hit him too? No, I, I have limits to my insanity. Uh, then basically be up here and I'm going to try to attack that. It's okay. All right, so here I am up here. I'm gonna attack these this group of bananas. Because the important thing is to get these bananas out of the way. And then he, on the other hand, is going to shoot this immediately. Excellent. And then he's gonna move. Uh, he's gonna hit. Uh, he's gonna hit this. He's gonna land like right here and put as many people to sleep as possible. I don't know who all is going to go to sleep, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, at least those two are asleep. And to heal, I don't think I'm in the range. The enemies have a turn. So he's gonna summon somebody, but it's okay because we're gonna finish this up quite rapidly. 
He's not going to be able to make it over to me. Those two are asleep down there. This guy might be able to hit me, but overall, it's going to be okay, I think. Yeah, he's going to hit me. I got hit by Honey, but I'm where I want to be, so... Oh, unless he attacks me from there. Gosh darn it. That's fine. We're still alive. That's the important thing. All right. So, uh, let's see what I can do here. If I can... Uh... Oh, man. All right. So, here's the test, right? I go over here. Ah, oh, I can't even do it. It's okay. I'm going to run into him. I'm gonna be here. Hopefully this is the last one. And I'm going to attack this. Oh, it's gone. Okay, great. And then I'm going to... Uh... And this is gone, this is great. So that's all the bananas, right? And hopefully, I mean, that was like literally as fast as I think I could have done them, unless there's, I'm missing something. Uh, so let's see where that puts us. Nice. Probably had eight turns to do. I did it in five. Excellent. Bad banana bonanza. All right. Well, we're going to continue on and on and on. And uh, we're bound to have more puzzles. Uh, so let's, let's go on. Here we go. This is uh, this is a conundrum over here, right? What's going on over here? So uh, right off the bat, I see that we have barrels and we have some things going on. I don't know where this takes me, but I'm willing to learn. Right there. Okay. So uh, you know, this is a bridge basically, and we need to get over to this side. That's a yellow switch. Um, the yellow switch. I don't know yet. Let's find out. This is obviously an interesting thing here because we can get some bananas. Including a big bunch of bananas. And then we can jump down here. Who knows what's down here? That's something I didn't even think of to check. I would I would not be surprised if there's a puzzle piece hidden down here somewhere. There's a barrel though. I don't know. I can't see anything. Oh, I got it though. <laughs> There we go. Starting to predict how this game is designed. So, then we shoot up here. Okay. So, I don't know I don't know where the yellow switch is, but... Uh, oh, it's over there, clearly. So, uh, to get to the yellow switch, we're going to want to move probably green, blue, or red over. So, let's start with the first uh, switch, my friends. We got uh, blue. Let's see what the blue does if I hit it. So blue moves over, and that will allow me to hit the yellow. And then with yellow here, well, we can't do anything because the red is in the way. So we gotta hit yellow again, and we gotta maybe hit red. Let's find out. Um, by in the way, we can hit the green, probably. I think that's what we're aiming for, right? Then we can hit the yellow. And then we can do what? Hit the blue. Oh, darn it. Hit, uh, let's not hit the blue yet. Let's hit the green next. Hold on. If we hit the green, then uh, maybe we'll be able to... Yeah, yeah, this is good. Green. Hit the red. Hit the blue. Things are solid gold now. Look at this. And then that goes up. Whoa! And then we still got to hit the yellow from that point. Which uh, is an intriguing thing because the yellow is now over here. And uh, so, you know. Gr blue, sure. We can maybe make. No. Not with just the blue. What does the red do again? Red moves over there. Maybe. Let's see what happens if we hit the red and then the green. The green's gonna move slightly. So the green being in position there, I think, is probably pretty good. If we hit the blue at this point. Uh, we're gonna be able to go over there and hit the yellow put the yellow up. We don't need the yellow Down anymore. I don't think it matters too much uh, So but we need the uh, red and the blue so if we hit the blue and Then the red we now have a nice little pad, but we need the green still uh, Okay, so hold on let's make the red go is it the red that needs to go back? Yeah
Okay, this is good. So the red goes back. That is now in order. And we can go and push on over here. Get this chest. And that is for a piece of art. The climbers. So, uh, like I said, eventually we're going to check all of these out at the museum. Uh, the main fun in this is just solving the puzzles because they are quite challenging sometimes. Uh, at least they're enough to make uh, you think sometimes. What are we looking at here? Are they playing chess? My current record at checkers is a 456 to 1. My only loss was to a Tronic O800 uh, XL Smart Toaster, if you can believe it. I don't. I think you're lying to me, man. But why would you lie? Who would admit this? This looks... Ooh, here we go. What is this? This is quite the thing. What is this? Great. The gangway is completely inaccessible. Even if we could reach it, it's covered in vines. They obviously don't care much about lawn maintenance around here. <sighs> okay, yeah. So this, I suspect this all has something to do with these strange carvings on the ground. Let's take a closer look. So it looks like they're presenting us with a uh, even more interesting puzzle than we thought. So if I take a look at these, yeah. Okay, let's not mess with it too much. This is indeed a very interesting puzzle where right now everything is being watered in some fashion and causing the vines to grow. At least that's what I perceive. Yeah, it looks a little bit tough. It seems that an irrigation system controls the platforms here. So we need the irrigation, we need the, the vines to not grow in the way. It draws water from pools that nourish the vines. Very clever, actually. Yeah, congratulations to this evil ingenuity. So, what needs to happen? Because this is bananas. <laughs> this is, like, really bananas. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so, hold up. This is clearly a path that goes this way. If we stop this, the water goes down. The vines dry up. And then we actually have uh, a little progress here, I guess. Not enough progress. We need all of this to happen. Does this vine go away? Oh, wow. Well, there we go. I don't know if this means I can access anything different, but that is interesting, at least. I can't go down here. Oh, no, There's, there is no real access to this. I'm just kind of wondering what happens if I dry up everything. I mean, ultimately, this can't be good, can it? Maybe it can. I mean, we're getting pretty close here. Well, all the vines are gone, right? But now the water needs to be filled. Huh, okay, so. So this goes uh, up, over. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So, there's that. There's that aspect of this. The fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so let, let's think about this. Is Where is water pouring into? I think I just turned it all off. I don't think any of these have water in them. So let's follow, like, the simplest one. Let's follow this one close to here. There needs to be water coming from here. Uh, and then maybe if we follow it down, it needs to be coming out of here. That creates a vine, though, which locks the door. Oh, yeah, so I turned off, like, everything. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be hectic, right? So we don't want that. We don't want this thing watered. We want everything else 
like that. So if we turn this. So if we turn this one on, there's nothing to stop it from being watered right here. So this one cannot be on. This almost seems important though. If we can maybe turn this, we can get some water flowing up here. Yeah, there we go, that's good. I think we just got the right side solved. I think we just got the right side solved. Let's not worry about the right side anymore if we can help it. Uh, left side. Yeah, hey, let's get the left side solved, I think. Oh, or are they, are they interconnected? Okay, so here's the thing. This goes up here. We can't turn this one on or it gets messed up. Uh, how does this get water from here? So there we go. We've almost got this figured out, guys. Um, the middle one, I guess, needs some water. There's not water running through the middle one. This could help. And then I think there's one more that needs to be triggered. Yeah, almost. Uh, the, the top one up there. So let's figure out how to get water to that top one without watering a vine, and then we should be very good here. Oh man, um, I'm a little worried, honestly. Oh no, that gets the vine water, so we can't have this. We can't have that. Unless this somehow, no, we can't have that. Did I mess up the flow of something over here? I think I did somehow. What? What is this? Did I do that? Okay. That's looking fairly solid. We just gotta figure out how to get water to here. And, uh, you know, we're talking, you know, we're talking, hey, we need some water from here too, but I don't know how to get it there. It almost seems like, yeah, we need to switch this, but we don't want it to go to the left, to the left right there, do we? Not one bit. Nope. Okay, hold on. I'm having a bit of difficulty trying to figure this one out, so. So we need water. We can't have water go that way. That's just how it is. Water this way is probably fine, but ultimately. Yeah. We need water to, to get in here through other means. So we're talking, um, yeah, we're talking water flowing this way, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is so confusing to me right now. All right. So water's flowing here. It's going nowhere. We turn it. It's flowing this way. I do not understand. I need, I somehow need water flowing this way. Let's try to work this backwards. I need water flowing this way. I need water going through here. So we are talking, I mean, we're talking about drying all that up though, unfortunately. We need water flowing this way. So now that we have water flowing this way, we have uh, all all paths. There's only two paths this way. Wow, okay. No, wait, no, there's three, but we got them all. So now we don't have water coming over. So we got the water to the left. We don't have water going to the right. For water to go to the right, 
we have got to have water flowing here at the very least, which would mean turning this. And that might have done the trick. That maybe did the trick. I think it did. There we go. Puzzle solved. Nice, right? I think so. And whoa, what's happening here? Oh, there's a golden... Oh, there's a golden barrel. Great. Great. Um... So I appreciate that the golden barrel is a thing. I need to go get the golden barrel because it's going to probably give me a nice weapon against the mid bosses for someone. So, um, you know, immediately I see, you know, I, um, so now, now that that door is open, that door is just open. I, I don't think we got to worry about it anymore, right? So we got uh, most of these done, I guess. But we're gonna want this one done. So let's uh, rotate this a couple times. And then we want water coming from here, I suppose. This is all dry. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, we don't care about the vines anymore, do we? But with that said, I mean like, oh my gosh. Okay, so to get the golden, what do we need to do? I think we need these little pools full and that's one, two, three, and then this is a fourth that is not full. So is it this? Now that dries it up. This needs to be flowing freely. There we go. There we go. Got them all full. We now have the gold barrel, which is exciting, so let's do it. And uh, let's find out what we gotta do. We gotta do it fast, though. It's always fast. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. <laughs> they're, all, they're all puzzles. It's probably timed again, but you know, we, we might we might have to do it a couple of times and we'll get it done eventually, so yeah. Uh, ready, yeah, okay, ready to one, two, I don't even know how this game works. <laughs> all right, so. All right, yeah, sure. What? What? I, okay, I, I'm woefully confused about Oh, oh, there's a red switch. Okay. Right? Red switch. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, 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 perfect. Blue switch is hit. And this over here is the green switch hit. Then this is, uh, opens this and lets us, oh my gosh, hold on. Let's us up here, I, I think. Oh my gosh. I'm trapped. Oh, I see with the bear. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then I got to do the red. Okay, I understand, I think. This is going pretty well. You gotta give me that. Let's go back in the barrel. We got the water all figured out. It's gold barrel time. We only have five puzzle pieces left. All right, I think I understand how to do this. So let's, uh, let's, let's get this done. So I think, yeah, we're ready, set, whatever, go. So we go ahead and uh, push this, uh, push, push that push that we got the red switch we're gonna have the blue switch now and then we're gonna have the green and then with the green moving we're gonna have this and we're gonna have the yellow we're gonna want to push the red back I think so that we have a, a nice little passage from here to here and what do we get a new weapon a new a new opportunity for a selfie Gold plated uh, paroxysm, par paroxysm, rabid cranky. So let's give it a shot for good old rabid cranky. So we did it. That was fan. We're done, right? Are we done? Oh yeah, we gotta take the uh, the gold barrel back, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. 
Sure, here we go. So if we take a look at our our inventory, uh, let's go to the battle HQ. Weapon selection here. Um, if we're talking, um, you know, uh, rabid cranky, we're talking a secondary weapon here. And uh, this is a damage against b bosses, not just mid bosses, but bosses. It's ink. Uh, I was using vamp. Oh, you know, so it is damage against bosses. Darn it. I want to see if I can just beat it without doing that first. Because, I, I don't know. If this works, then we'll be good. But, you know, if it doesn't, then maybe I'll buy it. We'll, we'll see what happens. I know I've been buying all the other ones, but, you know, for what? I don't know if there are any puzzles here. I got five. Yeah, this is the this is the finale here. Here we go. This is a boss of some sort. Here we go. Get ready for it too. This is exciting, right? I'm like, hello. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Oh wow, is it Rabbit Kong? Holy cow, he's got the washing machine right here and everything. Yeah, he mad. He very mad. Oh boy. He's wearing a cape. You gotta appreciate a, a boss who wears a cape. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, we might want to uh, work together as a team against this guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Making him jealous. It is Mega Rabbit Kong. Oh my gosh, bigger, stronger, dumber. Here we go. He was gonna leave, but oh no, we gotta fight this guy. Defeat the boss. Okay, interesting. So obviously something's going up with the thing in the middle here. But so what do we do? What's the plan? There is a TNT bro. I can maybe just go pick it up and throw it at him. He's tethered to the middle thing. So do we get? Do we have to attack the middle? Like oh, we gotta probably use a TNT on the middle, right? Real quick, do we have anything? Interesting in the battle HQ in terms of skill tree, we can have we can have two points that we can use if we want to uh, spend uh, throw range. If we're gonna be throwing, let's confirm that upgrade absolutely. And then for her, uh, you know, I might just want to save hers until I have some sort of a boost, uh, cover damage bonus, weapon range bonus. Uh, you know, I could give her a weapon range bonus that might be helpful. And then for him, uh, we could do the up dash damage upgrade or. Uh, we could use the grump uh, jump upgrade. Let's see. I'm just trying to see what we have. We can do long story range. Uh, maybe. Let's see. What's this? Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe increases dash damage. Sure. I don't know. Maybe maybe the whole thing needs to be resituated. But we'll we'll have time to decide. Let's fight. Um. Like I said, I'm ultra curious about what I need to do. I can't believe I can't just get up there, but let's jump over here. Let's grab this. Uh, I'm going to... I think I gotta throw it down there, right? If I land here, I can then throw it at this. This is a little bit of damage. I can also throw it at him. But I think I need to throw it here, right? That's the overall goal of this. All right, let's give it a shot. That was 500 damage. Uh, I'm not so sure this is gonna work, but here we go. 
It does a little bit of damage to him, but is it worth it, you know? Is he gonna attack me? Oh no, see, that doesn't do anything for him. He gets it back. Okay. Uh, yeah, rabbit cranky. Uh, oh, I can't do that. I can't, yeah. Here, I'm gonna go in here. And, uh, I'm gonna be like, yo, I appreciate you. Here, I'm gonna... Man, I really don't know what the strategy is supposed to be for this. Um, that is not much. Um, yeah, 64 is nothing, dude. Well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to get myself... Here we go, I'm gonna give it my best. I might be more effective uh, you know, shooting these things, I don't know. It seems like so little. Uh, I'm gonna attack you. Oh man, whoa, holy cow. Good enough. So enemies, so this thing gets a turn. He controlling him. That was a big hit. Uh, no denying that. Oh great, yeah. So that thing's gonna heal him though, right? So wait, does it take health from that to give to him? Is that what we're witnessing? I'm a little confused at the mechanics behind this, but. Okay, so. Uh, jump here. Oh man, I can't jump there. Oh geez, this is not super good. Jump here. Pick this up. I'm gonna find myself right here, I guess. And then we're talking, throwing this in the middle. It's a, it's a big move. Uh, let's see it in action. 500 damage to that is good. A little 70. No big deal. All right, so, um, you know. Oh, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? I can maybe put him to sleep. I don't know if it puts him to sleep, but if he's asleep, then I can move, right? Yeah, this is interesting. I can move, be right next to him, or maybe right even behind him and just shoot him. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, sure. Okay. So we're all far enough away, I, I think, is what's happened here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna attack him, and I, I, I'm gonna see if this thing, lo I, I should've checked the health exactly, but. So yeah, that does take 84 damage, right? That's what I'm witnessing, I think so. So I'm gonna move over here, just to be protected a little bit better. And I'll give myself the shield. I don't know what to expect, so I'll give myself the shield. I don't know if he's gonna be coming after me. He can sure move, can't he? Please leave. He's immune to the effects of that. So yeah, that, he's gonna have full health for a while. Oh gosh, that was a nice hit. Very critical hit. Oh, what? I didn't even see that. That's okay. Heroes get a turn, of course. Uh, I'm gonna use Donkey Kong. Jump over here. Uh, darn it, I can't jump over here now? Come on. Pick him up. I'm gonna land where? Oh, man. 
Oh, uh, now I can jump across. Perfect. Okay, you know what? Let's let's back out of that for a second. So, now that I know I can do this, I can go over here, exit this tunnel, go into this tunnel, jump across here, pick this up. What? Oh, am I still holding the other guy? I think I am. All right, so we're not picking him up instead. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, going. It's a little bit convoluted, but we'll get it. We're gonna jump all the way over, and I'm gonna pick this up, and uh, I am going to move, I guess, right over here. Wait, what, what can I do? Can I, can I? Okay, we're, we're about, okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know, man, what, what am I doing? I'm gonna move through here. I, I'm then gonna jump across here, land right here, and be in position to throw it at this. There we go. This is the move, guys, get ready for it. It's a, it's a complicated move. Donkey Kong is sure mobile. I love it. All right, there we go. Pick this up. See ya. I'm going down here uh, to go through here. Then, hey, back up here. And then jumping. Might as well. And then now we're in a good spot to do 500 damage there. And uh, while we're at it, why not just throw a banana right there at it? Just a little bit more damage. Not much. 94. That's critical. That's nice. And then he hasn't really had a move yet, has he? With this in mind, I'm gonna put myself right here. And I'm gonna throw uh, this in the middle. Here we go. And uh, with her, you know, I think she's in a good position. I'm gonna hide. And I am going to attack this a little bit. All right. Give the enemy their turn. Enemies get a turn now. They're all kind of far away. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. He's gonna move closer to Cranky. Man, he's moving really close. What the heck? Okay, put him up here, sure. Why not? These guys aren't gonna do much, I guess. Oh, these guys just popped out. Great. Well, I'm gonna love doing this. I'm going to pick up this. Throw it here. Wait, what? I'm going to pick this up. I am going to be located right here. And I'm going to throw this down right there. Then I'm going to just try to hit him with the banana. Maybe knock him off. Nice. Out of bounds, is he damaged all the way? Is he dead? He's not dead, but he's not far from it. I'm gonna move into here. I'm gonna maybe jump from here. Well, no, this won't matter much. Uh, sure, I'm just gonna be right here, I guess. And, uh, you know, I, um, So is it 208? Let me just shoot this guy. So yeah, and then give Stinky Eye. And then now, this is interesting, I'm gonna move, bump into him, basically turn up at the same spot back here. I'm just gonna try to shoot him off. Darn it, it just didn't hardly do anything. I'm gonna heal myself, because whatever. What, am I, what else am I gonna do? Enemies get a turn. I know more enemies are popping out. That does worry me. He has a thousand health left. I think I hit, did I hit both of them? That only has 60 left, that's good. I think I'm just gonna attack him then, right? Might as well at this point. Oh, great. What? Oh, great. That's fine. That's fine. Do what you must do. 
All right. Now we're talking business, I think. These guys are just standing there. Why not? These guys popped out. Again, why not? More TNT? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. So, I guess I'll try to hit him. Oh, wait. It's over there, though. All right. So, this is... uh. If I'm Donkey Kong, I gotta somehow make it all the way back. So we're talking, you know, going back in through the tunnels again to make these crazy jumps. So yeah, jump over here. And for whatever reason, I, oh, I, yeah, there is TNT here, perfect. Pick this up. And then put myself. Put myself where, exactly? Let's put myself a little bit of ways from him. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh no, because I want to be able to hit him, don't I? Well, uh... So I pick up the TNT. I'm gonna go back down through here, maybe? And I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. I'm gonna just be right next to him. And I'm gonna do everything I can just to take him out. And I'm gonna throw it right on him. That's gonna be a significant amount of damage. I hope Donkey Kong can survive this. I didn't really think too cleverly about this, but I'm gonna be right here. That's a big hit. Oh, 500, he oh, does he heal him for five? Oh, what? I didn't realize it would heal him for 500. I would've just shot it direct then. Oh, man, I thought I didn't think it could heal for more than it was. Oh, is he leaving? Oh, wow, so we might be done with that fight for now. Oh, no, we're not leaving. Well, this thing is gone. Oh, so that was a completion. Okay. So he's leaving. He's making a retreat. Torch song for Rabbit Kong. Okay, new weapons available in the Battle HU. So I'm glad I didn't grab that weapon because it would have been another thousand bananas kind of down the tubes. Uh, so, wow. Um, I'm actually quite surprised at how this played out. Cough, cough. Cough, is everyone okay? I'm good. He's okay too, there's a treasure chest over there. Great, the temple collapsed, plunging us headlong into the caverns underneath. You don't think there are mole people living down here, do you? Or centipedes? Centipedes give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh wow, interesting place. Alas, even the pale moonlight barely penetrates the gloom down here. I'm losing my sense of sight. Language is all but lost. I'm forgetting what things on the surface look like. Help! Rabbit Peach must be losing her mind. Rabbit Peach, where are... <laughs> yeah, she's losing her mind, dude. Rabbit Peach, how can you moon bathe at a time like this? You should be panicking blindly like me. <clears throat> you know there's no phone service this far down, right? What? Now she is freaking out. <laughs> All right, enough. We've got to get a grip. Rabbit Kong is still out there, controlling the banana market with an iron fist. Oh, no. Cell service. We need to carefully find a way out. This is a dungeon, after all. There's bound to be traps and spooky dungeon stuff. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry. So we are in basically a dungeon uh, with uh, even more puzzles to solve. Uh, we, I guess we could go ahead and try to solve them uh, just so that we don't start the next episode with a puzzle, which is fine, but I mean, I, I tend to like to start the episodes with a little more action, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and indeed solve this puzzle if we can. I don't know, uh, you know, there's bound to be some sort of way to do this. Um, 
I'm just kind of looking around to see if there are any puzzle pieces. And then, yeah, at the start of uh, next episode, we'll probably be right in on the action down here, right? This seems like the way out, right? Oh, wow. Or is this the way back? I'm so confused. Anyway. Let's keep looking. This does seem like a pretty complicated setup here. There are four things that we need to do in order to unlock the big chest. So let's uh, let's get started here. So I can't quite operate this yet. What's going on over here? I keep hoping for a little path to a puzzle piece or something. Whoa, what is that little bug? There are bugs everywhere. Oh, well, here's a... T My goodness. Where does this take me? This takes me out! <laughs> I think... Where is this? Oh, but this is the stage that we just fought on, right? Before the whole thing collapsed. The chassis to the washing machine. Glad we found it, but it's too heavy to move. Anyhow, there's no time to bother with it now. Rabbit Kong is on the loose. Agreed. Um, so... I think our choice is to head back, right? And then, um, yeah, this is where we were. So we got a puzzle of some sort, and we'll solve it somehow. Let's see, if we go this way, uh, there's really no point in going this way. It doesn't seem. If we look over here, there's a red switch. There's a blue switch. There is so much to do. And I'm so confused on how to actually pull it off. Okay, so... Alright, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Here we go. I'm going to push this this way. Okay. Oh, this is stopping point. Okay, interesting. If I Can I push it down there? Will that be adequate? Appropriate? What's the word I'm looking for? Let's see what happens if I kind of move this out of the way. Yeah, that is going to be a way that things work out. Oh, nice. That's one chest. So that's one of the four. Dried on the vine. And then... Uh... So with that being one of the four... Uh huh. So wherever the green is, we can try to worry about that soon. Uh, there is there a green? No, that's where we came from. Okay, so we don't want to go this way. Let's push it this way. We can probably, uh, I mean, we can probably set it down there, I guess. Let's, uh, s hold on, let's have some fun with this. We're going to go to the blue over here. Okay, so that's just one. Uh, I also need to get the red at the same time. Okay, well, uh, we know what we need to do. I think we do, at least. If 
we push it this way. We can maybe walk across, maybe? And then we'll have even more blocks to deal with. Makes me wonder how necessary this is. Yeah, we need to go get that one now. So this is basically just a giant block swap, but at the end we do get a treasure chest. And this is a 3D model. And that's the second torch lit. And then we can uh, push this up over here. I think we're on the right track. And then we can push this up here. I don't know what other, I, I think we need to do the other uh, puzzle over here first. So we're gonna try to move this. Cause I think we're gonna need two blocks, maybe. But if we, if we push this all the way over here, Oh, great. Now we can walk around, that's okay. Surprised I haven't seen any extra puzzle pieces. We can go with the green switch. Yeah, then we'll get the other block from the green switch. So this is good. All right, I'm starting to understand. Hit this, we get to travel over here and get uh, a treasure. This will be the third uh, of the four treasures. That will help unlock the. Uh, uh, that will help light those torches and help unlock the fifth treasure. So, I could have jumped down. Why did I not? I don't know. So now uh, we're talking about you know basically pushing this all the way back around, and then you know we could take this all the way to the blue if we want it to. Now, uh, we could take it to the red as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but blue makes sense. Since we're so close. And then uh, the final block is over here. And there's still five puzzle pieces hanging out somewhere. I'm not sure where. So this block is to enjoy moving this way. And then we just kind of push it up here. And this should be the uh, fourth, which will unlock the fifth. This is a soundtrack, Plunge in the Dungeon, which we might be at right now. <laughs> I don't know. And then all we do is we go all the way over here. Oh, wait. Oh, darn. That's not all we do, right? Because we still got to then... Oh, then we got to... <laughs> we got to bring the blocks back. All right. No sweat. You know, you're trying to make it complicated for me, but I don't respond well to that. Uh, which, here we go. We're going to want to go this way. And then push it all the way over. We can even start working over here so we don't have to make a big trip back. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And then, sure, nice, right? And that's that. That's one. And then number two is coming in right now. And with this puzzle solved, I think uh, we're going to you know, stop the episode. But let's see what's in this treasure chest first. I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching. Thanks for every like, comment, favorite, whatever you guys can give me on these videos. Nice. We got some more runes. Very cool. Two power runes. 
Excellent. I love what I see. Uh, let's go to the battle HQ. Uh, we could apply them now. Or we could just wait. Oh, no. We have five total? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Yeah. What do we want to put it on? Uh, we could put them on high ground damage. Uh, prime uh, weapon attack range for the, my prime weapon. Could be cool. Um, you know, groove range. I haven't really used groove too much, but... Uh, increasing the hairy eye damage could be very very fun the cooldown especially let's do the cooldown and there you go that's my five spent for uh, her we're talking uh, maybe an extra dash but let's increase the damage instead and then what what's two what, what can we do for two uh, weapon range bonus absolutely and then for him oh, you know we can maybe use some more range for him but um, let's take a look at what we got we got a uh, pipe sure pipe exit range whatever and then long story range. And then that's that for now. Uh, wait, but but before we uh, continue onwards all the way, uh, we might have some choices that we might want to exercise um, right here. Whoa, that looks crazy awesome. But we have this. Uh, this is burn and bounce. We could get the bounce again. Uh, great. Uh, equip, sure. Secondary weapon. Again, with the, with the bounce, we're, we're, we're thinking about good stuff here, right? Absolutely, we are. And then for her, you know, we're talking about, uh, you know, I like push. Honey's not bad. Look at that. I love it. All the references. And, uh, holy cow. Yeah, push. I'm still good for the push. And then for him, I'm still good for the vamp. And then for the secondary, uh, once more, I'm still good for the vamp. Uh, but we're talking 94. Uh, we, we, were we using vamp before? Yes. So we're talking about 94 vamp damage. It's like a burger. Nice. And then, do we have a new primary? No, we've already equipped it. Wonderful. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're doing fantastic. Come back next time for more. Uh, I'll see you then. Uh, we're going to continue onwards uh, through this uh, dungeon area. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other awesome videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Join my Discord. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.